Welcome to this video guys. I'll be showing you how to beat the extreme AI added in the Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. It is a replacement of the previous expert AI from the legacy game and they have said it's probably better or even a better version of it but I think, it, but I think it's not and I'm going to pro prove you guys it's very easy to beat and I'm going to play as the Ottoman Civ here. So I just want to show you the deck I'm going to use so you guys, you guys can use that as well. And I'll be doing the Ottoman fast forward strategy uh, using the tower. So let's get going. Um, I'll be playing skirmish one versus one uh, in the Great Plains map. You can play in any map, uh, but I'm gonna play Ottomans because it's very really easy. Ottomans have free settlers, and you don't need to you know do a lot of micro, and it's pretty easy to imitate what I'm doing. And Great Plains is all is a classic map, and yeah, let's get started. As you can see, extreme difficulty and everything the same. So I'll be doing the Ottoman first fortress strategy because it's very strong and also very easy to do as well. So once you get 200 wood, you need to get the TP and put all your villagers on food. And let's get some music going. Okay. Um, So you just want to get some wood for your house, just a uh, hundred wood, and you won't be using the rest of the wood. So you don't want to gather the crate. You want to gather the food one though. So it's pretty easy. So in age one, you just need to make wheels, herd these, and get up to eight hundred food, and that's it. And you age up with the. Uh, one outpost wagon and 200 chest coins. Since we're doing the first forest strategy, we want to go to H3 ASAP. Alright, um, let's select the deck in the meantime. We'll be using the land deck I showed you before. Okay, let's kill this bison as well. Okay, let's go out and see what else treasure we can get. Any food pressure is very good for ornaments, it's going to speed up your timing. So I'll be doing the ornament fast forward strategy, uh, trying to hit the uh, around 7 minute mark H3. So it's pretty strong timing and I don't think uh, this extreme AI can deal with that. So you see a food pressure is so good, I want to take it ASAP so I don't want to do a lot much of uh, creeping. And I'll be aging uh, faster since I get a 60 food. You're already around 700 food around two minutes. That's so good. Let's hit the 40 coin treasure. So even coin treasure is going to help because uh, we need to gather 100 gold along with the 200 gold. So you get 300 gold, and then with the 700 gold shipment you'll be sending, uh, you can just straight away click to H3 without gathering any gold. So now you want to gather some wood for the church. Church cost, I mean the church or mosque for the Ottomans cost 150 wood. So the reason I'm doing this because uh, mosque provides you a lot of XP. So that's why it provides you 0 0.75 XP per second. And it's pretty good. So I just gathered wood for the mosque. Just hunt. Okay, there's some idle. What is this? Okay, let's just scout uh, what the AI is doing. So you need to gather 30 gold, 30 coin, uh, so that uh, along with the 200 gold you're gonna get with the politician you age up with, you will have 300, and then you send this card first in H2, so that you can get 1,000 coin, and then you age ASAP. It's pretty good because. Uh, you don't want to do anything, just sit on food and then just uh, gather 1200 food. Okay, our AI is building some manors, there's a tower there, nothing special. Okay, I just over gathered some food there. Um, you want to place a tower defensive because we don't know what our uh, AI is going to do. So it's always safe to have a defensive tower. 
when doing a naked FF strategy like this and just get it to under the coin which you aged up with one villager and let's see got the deer dead yeah right now it's going so smooth your next card will be sound wood to get the infrastructure up like a racks so I'll be doing Janissaries only because uh, Janissaries are good, they do have siege damage as well. So uh, this is an Ottoman fast forward strategy with the uh, Rax Janissaries. As you can see I'm already nearing 1200 foot for the age up to 3. Around like I'll get it around 5 minutes. So I can just uh, hit age 3 around 7 minutes so it's pretty OP. You, you guys can just do this, pretty simple. And yeah, try to put like uh, two or three villages on coin together. ASAP. Now we got the shipments and sound wood all the time to get the infrastructure up. I'll be aging with the four hussars because that's pretty standard. But if you see a lot of musk or heavy infantry units, you can age with the Abus gun. But I'll go with the hussars here. And you put some wills on the gold. The thing is, with the sound wood, you want to build the racks with your villager get 5 Janissaries strain before you hit H3 and then you build like a couple of houses along with 200 wood save for your veteran Janissary upgrade so that's the plan and Queen Elizabeth is still H2 it's a Rax no units yet okay that's good okay let's collect with our food bills in the wood Right, we almost explored all of, all of the map. Um, where is Queen Elizabeth getting food from? Alright, we need to get a Rax here. Build it with two villagers, get some couple of houses. Okay. Okay, here we go, 200, 100 wood left there. And let's make 5 Janissaries before we hit uh, H3. We're gonna hit H3 at the uh, insane time guys, like look at it. 6 minutes 30 seconds and I'm already aging with the 4 SRs. Pretty crazy. Alright, let's put some wills on coin because we want to have this one. Uh, research ASAP. So let's get go. There we go, we got the hussars. Let's uh, upgrade Genesis. You want to send 8 Genesis as the first card. And let's put some villagers on wood. Because you'll get popped soon. Okay, there's one musk here, not that scary. We'll try to raid with the hussars to see what's going on. <laughs> it's pretty nice to see the AI sending one must to see what's going on. <laughs> okay, what do you got? Do I stable up? Okay, there's some musk. I need information. Information is good. Okay. Let's try to siege this and annoy. We can take the uh, musk now. Oh, there we go. You can actually fight this. Microing the AI. <laughs> Oops, we shouldn't uh, take that back up a little bit. Oh, that's a lot of musk. Where did you get the musk from? I think that's cheating, right? Suddenly there is like so many musk. What the hell? AI is cheating? Wow. Okay. Okay, we can just kite this. Chill out. Okay, AI knows some micro there. Pike skills uh, hazards. Okay, let's just back kite this. You can just chill out. Yeah, veteran janissaries and that mask is just uh, H2. Okay, more janissaries coming. Where is our villagers? There we go. Now we can push. 
XP. Let's get the Rex. Where's my Explorer? Need to be careful with my Falx. Falx is very, very important. Okay, let's kill that uh, Musk is there. So I should be careful with my Falx. Okay. Okay, you took out one of the Falx. It's not worth it. Hmm, that's the hunt is far there. Okay, let's end the fast way. Get the Mamelukes. Get the thousand coin I'm gonna send. Speeding up the villager. Yeah. Just put all those on food. I don't want to get consistent batches of Janissaries. I can probably siege because there's no house. Oh, what is this? Grenadiers. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't want to get uh, any husks out, so I just kill that. Okay, I'll just put it in the outpost so that my villagers getting coin can get it. Um, more Janissaries. What is this? A is not scary? <laughs> I thought extreme air is going to be tough. Okay, you got units there, long walls, but that's not enough. I have quantity. Okay, once I get Mamelukes, this is GG. Mamelukes at 2000 HP. And <laughs> all these units are just gonna die. Okay. Mm, let's just put some. I love this killing a lot of it. This is a massacre. I'm just massacring the extreme AI right now. You just want to have more fun. Okay, let's build one more house. Just make Janissaries and send Falks and Mamps and then CC. This is the power of Waterman, guys. Waterman Flash Fortress. Not even uh, <laughs> this AI or AI can hold this. <laughs> Okay, you got the fact. Now I'm sending mams. How are we gonna deal with that? And this TC is low HP. Okay, there we go. Our house powered by houses 1450 HP. And it's unkillable right now. Alright, so where's the artillery foundry? Over here, I see units coming from this direction. Ooh, I want that, I want that, I want that. That's some juice there. A lot of portals. Where are you trying to hide and go? You can't run. Wow, I like to kill a lot of villagers. I want to send fire hazards to kill these villagers, massacre them. Okay, that grenadier is dead. Can't go anywhere else. Where are I trying to go? This is GG. Resign already. Okay. Well, the AI is red, so it's a lot of those, but <laughs> this game is GG. All the wolves are just dying. Okay, I think I sent uh, Hus. Yeah. Maybe there's some wills here. Let's go check it out. Okay, so the, the AI should be resigning soon. Got all the wills, I guess. And there we go, guys. That's it. Let's press yes to show you that I just read. Um, this took a little bit of time because the uh, AI is British and that's a lot of wills. But if there's like uh, other sieve like you French or anything I would have 110 minutes 10 minutes you can just pretty much be the extreme AI so what I'm trying to say is that uh, 
AI is not that good and I've seen many uh, good new players saying that oh I can't be the AI is so tough and also the Age of Empires 2 players I'm saying is also tough to me but I didn't but I guess uh, I have to disagree with you there because it's pretty easy to beat if you just execute a one perfect build order like this perfectly you can just beat the AI so I'm just showing you it's, it's readable very easily and I hope you guys can do that as well and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned the strategy I used here Ottoman Flash Fortress so you have learned two things here where you can now able to beat the extreme AI as well as you, you're able to now do the Ottoman Flash Fortress strategy with the tower so let's just uh, let's check the uh, post game a little bit probably Reese's gathered yeah Brits always has more worlds gathered but doesn't matter if, if you can't win the battle then you just lose the game and that's it guys yeah thank you for watching and see you in the next video